I know what to do. I'll finally make my dream come true. I'm working hard each and every day. I'm on my way, but wait, I'm almost there. I'm on my way without a care. All the haters call me crazy, but I just don't care. Trials and tribulations. Well, I've had my lifelong share, my share. There ain't nothing gonna stop me now, cause I'm almost there, almost there. Well, I'm and now I'm on my way without a care, right now I'm almost there, almost there. <laughs> Do, 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 do. We're going to bring this mic over here. Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? What a great contest. Um, we are just so happy to be here. Um, we just had, have had a wonderful time here in Harrogate. Um, give yourselves a round of applause. Um, we are going to do some quick introductions before we get started here. Um, and we're just going to give you a little info about us because um, some of you may not know a little background about our lives and we thought you might be interested. So um, let's start with uh, this one. Come on up. Come on up. This is our beautiful Amanda McNutt. Give her a round of applause. Uh, Amanda is teaching the children of the world how to sing. Um, which we think is a beautiful, beautiful thing. So let's also give her a round of applause for that. Yes, she is a music educator in Baltimore County, and she also has many talents, such as um, she can eat a lot of watermelons in a short amount of time. Uh, no joke, she won a watermelon eating contest once. Very impressive. Um, so that's Amanda McNutt. One more, one more round of applause. All right, next up we have our bass, Miss Katie McDonald. Let's give her a round of applause. Now, Katie, she is in property management, uh, which means she's a really big deal and uh, can help you find a house if you ever want to move to Baltimore, I guess. Yep. Um, yeah. Uh, Katie also uh, just got married uh, about a year ago. A year ago. Yep. year ago. Aw. Time flies. Um, and she has an adorable pug. Uh, so if you follow her on Instagram or, or Facebook, you can see pictures of her pug doing adorable things. Yes. Katie. <laughs> Next up, we have our lead, Miss Allie Hogger. Let's give her a round of applause. Now, Allie also teaches small children, um, as you know, and um, she currently lives in Florida, where you can go visit and go to Disney World, and um, it's very hot, so she was, she was a little bit shocked by the weather here, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, also, Allie is dating the current BHS uh, champion lead, uh, Mr. Drew Ochoa, so if you like After Hours, yeah, let's, let's hear it. All right, so that's Allie. Well, let's give her a round of applause. I'm really good. <laughs> so good at this. Um, last, but certainly not least, the baritone and most important member of this quartet, Katie Gillis, that's me. Hi, how are you doing? Um, I am an organic farmer. So someone was mentioning the farm thing, and that's me. So yay for me. Um, yeah, I also live in Baltimore, and I sing in a wedding band, and I make pottery, and I, I do all kinds of stuff. Um, and that's, that's really all you need to know. Um, the rest can be left a mystery, but come talk to me afterwards, and maybe I'll give you more tidbits of information. Um, we're going to sing some more things, and this time I'm going to just be the bass, because I feel like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
Of all the boys I've known, and I've known some. And when I first met you, I was lonesome. And then you came inside, and my heart grew loud, and so well it seemed to me. You're really swell, I have to admit. You deserve expressions that really fit you. And then I rack my brain open to explain all the things that you did to me. Got me of this to shame. Please let me explain. Got me of this to shame. Means you're great. Find me a bit of shame. Again, I'll explain. It means you're the fairest in the land. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Bonapa. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I've tried to explain. Find me a bit of shame. So kiss me and say you'll understand. Find me a bit of shame. You heard it all before, but let me try to explain. Find me a bit of shame means that you're grand. Find me a bit of shame. It's such an old refrain, and yet I should explain. It means I am begging for your hand. I could say Bella, Bella, even say Bonaba. Each language only helps me tell you how grand you are. I'm trashy and no good. I suppose it may be true. But there are worse things I could do. I could flirt with all, all the guys, all the guys, kiss and I smile, smile at them and bat my eyes. chance, then refuse to see it through. That's, That's a thing I wouldn't do. Wouldn't do. I, I could stay home every night. I could stay home every night. Wait around for Mr. 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 Right. Take cold showers every day and throw my life away. On a dream that won't come true. I could hurt someone like me. Out of spite or jealousy. Steal and I don't lie, but I can feel and I can cry. A fact I'll bet you never knew. But to cry in front of you. Cry. That's the world. 
Hello. So, as Katie G told you, I'm Katie Mack. I'm the bass here. And, Kate, sorry, Katie's so tall. Okay, um, so I really wanted to tell you guys this story because yeah, I was so excited about it that I like FaceTimed my husband and told him because, yeah. here we go. I did, <laughs> yes. Um, so we actually had really good flights over here, really wasn't, wasn't bad at all. Um, and me and Amanda and Katie were on our flight from Heathrow to Manchester, um, which is like an hour. Um, they however, know, they live here. <laughs> right, so true. Um, yes. Good. So um, Amanda and I sit down in our, in our row, and the, there were some lovely, lovely British old ladies behind me. And here's the, here was their conversation. Oh, I'm, I'm going to, oh, I shouldn't do this accent. I'm just going to tell you what they said. They start, I'm not, y'all are going to make fun of me. Do it! Okay. Can someone record this? No. <laughs> Please don't. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do my best. Please don't judge me. Okay. Or if Let's I offend anyone, I don't mean to. Have you heard of this, of this show called The Great British Bake Off? Oh my gosh, they do this thing. They first they do a technical challenge, and then they do a showstopper challenge, and then they do a signature challenge, and they get to, and they have these judges, and... Okay. Okay, now, here's my, here's my thing. I love that show. I know that it is the Great British Bake Off. First of all, it's, in America, they call it the Great British Baking Show. I call it Bake Off. Thank you. Yes. Yes. My husband and I watch that show religiously on Netflix. And here's my thing. Some British folks behind me are like talking to each other as if they've never heard of this show. And I'm literally like, do you know anything about your culture, really? <laughs> so of course, even though I'm mega jet lagged at this point, pretty sleepy, I did turn around. Amanda was kind of embarrassed. I literally go, well, actually, you know, first they start with, they start with the signature bake, then they do the technical challenge, and then they do the showstopper. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> So, so like that made me, it gave me a lot of confidence in myself to just know that I knew something coming into England. So, whew, thank goodness. So, um, you know, now I think it's a good time to set up the fact that I, I now have enough confidence to do a song on my own where I sing the lead. So this song features me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Getting out of an awkward situation. All right. <laughs> Out in the night, 
I see the shining stars I wonder if you see them too wherever you are I've been a foreign lander for seven Okay, so we're really excited about this next part. Allie's really excited. I'm so excited. Oh my goodness. Okay, so, you know, we, we do a lot of competitions and, and they're awesome and they're so much fun. Uh, but sometimes you're like, well, when do I get to be the judge? You know? Right now. And so the moment is now. Yeah. And uh, so we decided um, that we, you know, want to learn a little bit more about British culture and and, and what, the, what British people like about their culture or don't. And so we, we asked random members of, of the convention to give us some phrases, um, just any, any kind of phrase about, about the UK. And um, then we decided we are gonna turn those, uh, we're gonna pick our favorites, okay? And um, because we're the judges, we have categories, okay? Of course. Three categories. Um, the first one is entertainment value. If we let, you know, thought they were, we're good. Number two is tagability. <laughs> Can it be shopped? You know? Um, and, the, and, and the third one we, we struggled with, the yeah, third category we struggled with, but we thought uh, um, um, uh, level of suckage. Yes. <laughs> Could be a good third one. Yeah. So um, those were the categories, um, and we, we picked a top three. Yeah. So throughout the show, we're going to reveal our top three, starting with third. So he, I'm going to turn it over to Allie. I'm so excited. I'm shaking. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Actually, okay. we can. We can um, <clears throat> should we just? Yeah, okay. Oh. We're going to sing right after. It's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going to go right into singing the tag after this, so I'm going to talk into this mic. <clears throat> What's the note? With a score of nobody cares. <laughs> they will be receiving after the show seven unnecessary hotel blankets <laughs> to the guy at the bar out there. He said, Oh, I don't really know. That of a number one? <laughs> Missed that opportunity. Good. That was oh, pretty good. Oh. Wait for the others. Maybe they're better. You can judge. Uh, no, we're the judges. We tell you what we think. <laughs> I'm over here.
I gotta try. I said, Love me, yes, you heard me right now. You can't deny it. I got a letter and I'm sending it to everybody who wants to know that I told the driver, Go straight away. I gotta meet my lover at the station. Give him a kiss and we'll be gone for good. Ooh, go straight away. I gotta meet my lover at the station. Don't tell nobody. No, this is just between me and Hush your mouth, close your eyes. I've got the big surprise. Careful words, perfect timing. Hush your mouth, close your eyes. and soda muddy your eyes baby do I feel high on me oh my do I feel high do I oh dry my teeny digger it gin oh what a spell you've got me Second place. I don't remember who sent us this. So they can't receive their prize. But with a score of still nobody cares, they will be receiving. <laughs> I forgot about this. 90 puppies with only three legs. <laughs> So Brexit, 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 just do not mention Brexit. Oh. Hey, bum, bada, let me die, make me
Makes my heart a cinema scope. He's showing the dancing bird of paradise. Bum butter, if I'm butter, if I'm butter, then he's a hot knife. He makes my heart a cinema scope. He's showing the dancing bird of paradise. He excites me. Must be like the genesis of rhythm. I get feisty. Whenever I'm with him, if I'm butter, if I'm butter, if I'm butter, then he's a hot knife. He makes my heart a cinema scope. He's showing the dancing bird of paradise. <laughs> <laughs> that helped us drink. Mr. Boyd, sorry for that for that one. Yep, mm -hmm. pretty bad. Thank you. 
Just like any good competition, there has to be stalls. And our stall for our competition is that we heard there are some birthdays to be sung. So we're gonna do it. I don't know why I introduced <laughs> students to it like that. We're gonna sing happy birthday. It's not, I don't know why I made that thing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Sarah and Laura. Happy birthday. I'm sorry I introduced that strangely. I hope it didn't ruin the impact of the, the, the happiness of your day. <laughs> of anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Drum roll. Nice. With a score of the most points. <laughs> <laughs> they will be winning seven bajillion ducktails. Like, that you remember this, the TV show? Did you guys have that here? Are they DVDs? Okay, cool. <clears throat> no, like like eight v tracks. VHS? No, older. Oh, Phil? Don't question it. <laughs> Just let it be. <clears throat> oh, wait. Just me, right? Both. Oh, that's right. Okay. Jam with super clotted cream. Clotted. What the hell is that? Someone even explained it to us, and I still don't get it. <laughs> oh, I'm excited for this one. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna stand here. Um, oh, I'm Hi, just a I'm a little mad at you. Why? And you need to know, um, because as I told everyone yesterday, I'm 30% British. Thank you. Thank you, my people. <laughs> and I submitted one, and it didn't even make the list. I'm a little mad. I know, irked even. 
Yeah. Yeah. What do you have to say for yourselves? What was the entry? I don't know. I don't remember now. <laughs> but it made me sad. Thank you so much, oh, so much. Um, that is a newer um, song of ours, so you guys maybe are the second, I think, to ever hear that. So thank you for your patience and understanding. Um, so we, if you liked that song, it's not on the two CDs we have for sale, so um, sorry, because uh, it's very new. But uh, we do have CDs for sale for 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Not, I was about to say, pen, pen, is it pences? Pen, what's the plural? Pensi? 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 I can, whatever. So, 10 pounds. And um, yeah, we'd love to come chat with y'all. And um, now that I think about it, I don't know what table we'll be at, but we'll be looking like it's this. Out there somewhere. Out there. Yeah. So, we 
we just want to say our sincerest thank you to everyone here for having us. This has been such a wonderful trip, and everyone has been so welcoming. Um, we would like to send a few thank yous. Um, Errol, first of all, has been such a, a wonderful person. Uh, she has been there um, morning, afternoon, evening, and has just helped us so much. So thank you so much, Errol. We'd also like to give a giant shout out to Boo and the Youth Chorus. Can you give them a round of applause? It really was a true honor to sing with those girls today. Um, we got to spend some time with them before, um, but it's magical uh, being on stage with them today. And I think you could feel that as well. So thank you, Boo, and thank you to all the ladies. It was wonderful. And the whole Labs convention team, thank you again for inviting us here. We would love, love to come back one day. So keep us in mind. Um, with that, we offer you our last song. Uh, this is one of our favorite songs. We uh, arrange this on my living room floor, and it is a song that is very dear to our hearts, so we hope you enjoy. Thank you again. Take away my sin. Then 